We can hear. All right. Well, the official cheers to, to, to the Napa Valley Film Festival. Woo! 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 Awesome. Took a big gulp. Now, I told you on the red carpet, and I was not BSing you, that Any Day Now is literally the film. Sorry for anybody else out there. The, like, literally, the film that I was looking forward to. I mean, I... It just the whole process, the whole story. Tell me about the screenwriting. Travis here is the director, producer, screenwriter, custodian, everything. You are like the whole gamut. Tell tell me about uh, the process of the film. Well, the the script was originally written uh, as an original screenplay about 40 years ago. Um, almost got made a bunch of times. Ended up sitting in a in the screen original screenwriter's desk for the better part of 20 years. Thankfully, it made its way to me, and thankfully, he was gracious enough to let me update it, change it, revise it, and really kind of uh, put my own personal stamp on it, both as a, as a writer and also as a filmmaker. And, um, you know, and, and away we went and we got the movie made. So That's wonderful. And, and when did it premiere? Did, is, this, is the film festival in Napa the actual first screening? or No, this is, this is sort of the end of our run. We'll be out theatrically uh, December 14th. We'll be in about 20 markets across the U.S. We actually premiered at the uh, Tribeca Film Festival okay. back in April. Um, won the audience award for best picture there, and have subsequently paid in seven or eight film festivals. And wow, that's awesome. yeah, that is great. Yeah, that is so cool. And so you you actually were were in the film, didn't you no. do any filming, or you just did I producing? Was producing? Okay, so you both were producing. Mm -hmm. What I thought for some reason you did like some. I thought there was somebody that did some. Okay, okay, so you did. Gotcha. That was me. Okay, that was just the blondes, you know. It's us blondes kind of That's all. Right. We all blend together <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> She's got a, you've got a cameo. Well, that's, right. what, that's what... I do have a cameo. Okay, okay. well, because there was... I, you play a witch? It's a Halloween scene. There's a Halloween scene. There's a Halloween scene. <laughs> she looks really pretty in it, though. I like really... No. Hey, any blondes are... Oh, I do. What are you... What is this? What is this? So, uh, how did you? Yeah, have some more. Have some more. How did you guys all connect? As far have you guys done work together before? Or what, nope. What's the story? Well, we we we're husband and wife partner oh. team. Oh, okay. I did. I didn't. I, you never know here. You know, somebody's a handler. Somebody's a. I don't know. Yeah, right. Smart advice. If you if you if you're a director and your wife is the producer. Give her a cameo. Okay. Put her pretty face. Okay, on this all makes sense <laughs> now. It's now. all coming. Okay, but as far as your connection, yes. oh well, we all met because I, I live in Key West with my partner and husband uh, Brian Quattrini, and uh, Travis's mother lives in Key West. And this whole storyline, um, we executive produced. The kids are all right. So okay, the second they you. came to us with this idea, storyline, script, I was like, oh my god. I mean, this is like. This is the kind of thing that we love to do and totally represent, and it's just a beautiful story. And meeting everyone involved with it, these guys. Right. So hopefully we'll all work together again. Yes. We will. You actually told me how upset when I first met you. You said, "Damn you! I wasn't going to do another film this year, but I have to do this project." <laughs> you actually got angry at me, and I said, "Hey, we limit ourselves to like three films a year." And uh, I was like, "Oh God!" And tr truthfully, at the end of that year. We were dead. I'm, I'm not kidding. But it was worth every moment. 23 days of shooting. Yep. And God bless my... This was filmed in 23, 23 day. days. And God bless my husband because had it not been for him, I really don't know. I, I couldn't... Have, I mean, it was like how many hours of shooting a day, Travis? Mm -hmm. now, now, this is based actually on a, on a true story, yeah. right? Yeah. And Loosely. Loosely based. That, um, I, I did some research on actually what, what Alan you know, represents, you know, working with the Trevor Project and um, gay marriage adoption rights. And, you know, it's just so cool. Not only there's a lot of, uh, I find at film festivals, a lot of features that, you know, it's a great story, but there's no end result of, of a lesson. And that's the coolest thing about this movie. I mean, there's actually a, a lesson, stand up for your rights. Um, I just think it's wonderful. It's great. Thank you so much. Thank you, you know, there, there, we have friends in Key West who have gone through the same thing in the 21st century. Right. Now this happened in the 70s, but that it's still going on now was so resonated with me that I was like, how can we not stand up for the fact that everyone has the right, every child has the right to be raised with love in whatever family structure that is. Oh, that is so cool. Well, thank you for coming to the festival, ending your, your stint. You know, ending your, I mean, this is, a, yeah, what a better way, what a better way to end. Here's to the Napa Valley Film Festival. Woo, woo, woo. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're good.
Cool. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, all you have to do is just tilt. Just you, you'll, this hand will get more muscular. You're not tilting. talking about our bodies. No, no. Well, that that happens. That happens as well. Thank you so There's much. tilting. Thanks, you guys. Thank tilting you so earth. much. Yeah. Well, you guys, Thank you. Um, will you guys, it. you'll be there tomorrow night yes. and yes. and up uh, at Saturday JCB's night, house. Too. I'm sure. Yes. Okay, yes. yes. well, we'll see you tomorrow night, too. Thank cool. you. Cool. Nice to All meet right, you. All right, thanks, you guys, very much. Cool. Sure. We're still, we're still rolling live, though. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, I guess I didn't make a, a formal introduction. We are here at the second annual Napa Valley Film Festival reporting live from the gala. Uh, this is not only a red carpet, but actually literally a teal carpet as you enter in with the gobos displaying on the estate winery. Um, this is an amazing night for everybody to go beyond the bottle and the lens and talk about not only the featured films, but taste incredible Mandavi wines. We have over 20 chefs here from the Napa Valley, including Chef Bob Hurley that will be here on later the show live. So anybody that's streaming live with Toot Sweet, uh, this is an opportunity to uh, check out the featured films. You know, you're, there's no sense of uh, being able to drink and eat because you're going to have to just have smell-o-vision. But it's a great way to chime in if you couldn't actually be here. So we're looking forward to a great show. Yeah! Woo! I got dressed. I got dressed a little plug. I got dressed by cake plate. Little, little plug. Me too. Good. Ooh, hello. You look darling. Uh, hi, Jacques. How are you? Do you want to pop on real quick while we're filling, filling time? Pop on, pop on. This is just a, a good popping. This is Mr. Jacques Boyer, who um, is a part of the Rising from Ashes featured documentary, which I was honored to be a part of the uh, screening here. And what have you, I mean, you've been to Napa a few times, right? You, you enjoy your wine and your food? Actually, I only started drinking wine when I turned 50. So when you turned long, 50? Yeah. So you have a lot of catching up to do. No, I'm, I'm enjoying it now. Good. So it's good. Well, this is uh, very special. I think I mentioned when we did the screening at the gallery in, yesterday in Calistoga that my father is one of the founders of the, the Hall of Fame. He's the, the yes. secretary, and you were inducted in 1988. And it's, uh, the, the documentary is very touching, inspiring. I think it's one of those films here at the festival that is an opportunity for us to all you know, learn a life lesson and go you know, hear about the touching stories that the festival has to offer. Yeah, it's been, uh, last night was a really, really fun showing uh, in Calistoga. That was great. So I look forward to Saturday and Sunday. Very cool. Well, Rising from Ashes, you've, you've got to see the film. Awesome documentary feature at the film festival. Thank you for popping in. Hop on up here. Hop on up. We have our, our colors again, but we, we, must do, we must do the ceremonial cheers. Oh, cheers. Yes, cheers, cheers to the second annual Napa Valley Film Festival. So I am here with the lovely Imogen Poots, and you you have a little jet lag, I'm sure. A little jet lag and a little red wine, and it's all good. Yeah, it's blended together. Sometimes doesn't work out, but you, but you look stunning. Thank you very you much. look like you're keeping your head up. <laughs> so you first came on to the scene, if I recall correctly, 28 weeks. Like, yeah, guess, yeah. Was this one of your first debuts? Absolutely. That was when I, I think I just turned 17. So yeah, that would be the one. 17. So how old are you now? I'm 23. Oh, okay. So you've yeah. been in the business a long time. Okay. 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 And and featured here as a document, or not, excuse me, a documentary, featured film is, hi, sorry, this is like a live show. We're just like waving to everybody, um, is a late quartet. <laughs> and I am so excited. I have, I know, sorry, this is, this is the way it happens in Napa. Um, Oh, you know, we're doing a live show right now. We're not, it's okay. This was to be expected. Wine can be found in there. This is, this is a lot, this is what Napa Valley has to offer. People can tilt. You're excused. Um, so tell me about Elite Quartet, how, how this, this fell into your lap. Uh, Elite Quartet, yeah, we made it a couple of years back and it's great, it's here at Napa. It um, revolves around a quartet of musicians who, uh, a lot of Beethoven, and um, I play Alexandra, who's the daughter of Catherine Keener and Phil Seymour Hoffman's. Um, uh, I'm, their, I'm their daughter in, in the film. But it was, you know, it was great fun to make, and um, extraordinary process learning the violin and sure. working with those actors. And um, no, I really cherished it. So it's wonderful to be here in Napa Valley with the film. And what an amazing cast! You, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, 
gosh, uh, Christopher Walken. Yeah. I, you couldn't have been you couldn't have been thrown into a better film. I, do you have a, a lot of different films on the horizon? Are you working in production right now? Yeah, we. I think I've done a, uh, five or six this year so okay. far. So it's been it's been pretty back to back. But that especially was a really really um, important uh, time of life to work with. As you said, they I want your your accent. This is the cool. Like, I need to do like a full show with no, a British. Yes, you don't I want do. it. You come to England. You, you, you like, don't want you it. Could, you could be. You just any, anybody with a, an accent. It's just like so sexy. You just like I mean, with, the, with the outfit and everything. I, just, I love it. I love it. Um, well, thank you. It's it's an honor to have you here at the film festival. This is very special to us. You know, we're we're going beyond the bottle and, and showing what Napa Valley really has to offer. Thank and, you for having me. And uh, you know, as long as you like your wine, we don't judge. It's all good. We we you know, this is great. So so cheers. Cheers. Ceremonial cheers, as we always boom, do. Boom. Cheers, Imogen Poots, a late quartet. Wonderful film. Wonderful film. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. 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 Thank you. Come on. Um, you know, if you want to pop on now and not worry about it, let's do it. All right. Scoochie boochie, scoochie boochie, scoochie boochie. Here? You're here? here? Okay. Stuart. Stuart, sit on Why down. Oh, I my my arm stretches that way. All right. You look lovely. Thank you. So do you. What's your name? Katie. I'm Madeline. Madeline, nice pleasure to meet, to meet you. I actually Madeline Zima and Stuart Asher. I had the pleasure to uh, do a live Toot Sweet film in studio in Napa with Stuart to discuss the film Stuck, and it was a very fun fun show and we we're sorry to have missed you but I was very excited to have you on the show. Thank you. And is this your first time to Napa? Yeah, it's my first time ever. She's a virgin to Napa. I know. Woo! Woo! I keep asking people if they've done their liver push-ups to get ready like oh prior gosh, to coming. No. <laughs> but no, you know what? I was in Europe and I was in London and France, so I did do a bit of wine drinking to Prepare myself. To prepare. Okay. All Jeez right. Louise. Well, when he was on the show, what did you have? Did you have whiskey or did you have Chardonnay? Oh. It was a Chardonnay, like the unoaked, Mike, uh, you know, Mandavi Chardonnay. By the way, I literally, listen. I know it's so ridiculous, but to plug this, but we're on the Mandavi. No, please, please. But plug like, away. like, literally, without fail, if I get a Robert Mandavi wine, yeah. like to bring to someone's house, like we're going into the holidays, and you want to bring a gift, like Robert Mondavi has never let me down. It's oh, never, yeah, you it's never a, open it and drink it and like go like. Ugh. It's always yummy. It's not rock gut. You can no, always, always count yummy. on on Mandavi wine. Seriously, like the, a nice cab or Merlot Listen, is always so good. Seriously. Madeline Zima, note, Mandavi, please call her and she can be the poster please, child for... Please give me some free wine. Me, yeah, free wine. She'll do it in exchange for free wine. <laughs> so this film stuck. I did, I did tell Stuart... Uh, the director here, over here, that um, you know, there's the opportunity to get stuck in Napa if you drink too much. So you need to be careful. And the film stuck. For the people that are viewing this, um, tell them a little bit about. Although I know the film, what what this is? Oh well, the movie Stuck is about a guy and a girl, played by Madeline Zima playing the girl and Joel David Moore playing the guy, who meet. Yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd make it really clear why she's standing here. Um, I'm just here. I, it's like, actually, I don't even know who she is. I don't know why she's here. She's just weird. Um, anyway, they have a crazy drunken one night, and um, the next morning they are stuck in bumper to bumper traffic and forced to get to know each other. I love it. And um, one, I, 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 it's the what? It's the best worst nightmare. It is, it is the best of worst nightmares. Now, originally, you had mentioned that this was going to be a film with different people in cars and trying to get to work. What was the, the background? Oh, well, originally, it was five different stories, and none of them really worked. And then one of the stories was the one that we ended up going with, and I stretched that out into the entire movie. And I have to note that Madeline and Joel came on a couple days before we were supposed to shoot. So... How, how were you? How were you brought on to this? How was I? Because of Joel Michaelie? Oh, I mean, because did I, he bring you on? Essentially. Okay. Essentially, I was I was working on a movie during right while they were doing pre-production, and the director of that movie reme recommended recommended me recommended me to Joel, and so and she was like, "Thank God for Jamie Babbitt." She's like. 
Madeline can do anything. You should take a look at her. Oh, yeah. oh that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks. Yeah, plug for Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. And it was actually really funny because we, for a long time, we had a schedule conflict. We thought she wouldn't be able to do it, so we had two other actors. And then at the last minute, when they dropped out, it ended up working out. And this is a movie where, I mean, we shot 10 pa in 10 days. We shot the, the lowest was 10 pages a day. They got the script less than like two days before. Talk about a lot of dialogue. Well, yeah, what is your preparation on that? This gets thrown at you. I had no time to prepare. So it's like I, I, finished, I finished that movie, Breaking the Girl, and then the next day I started right. stuck. It was the, there was no overlap, no and I literally was like, okay, what are the what are the pages for the next day? And that's how I prepared every night before. I would look at the usually about 10 to 15 pages or 20 pages, depending, for the next day's shoot, and like learn them and like try to come up with different choices, and then and just go for it, and just like basically most of the movie is based on instinct more than like seriously right. preparing. So when you prepare for, for a, a role, are there any traditions like, you know, random put, doing headstands, taking shots of tequila, or whatever, whatever yeah. it may be, what are your, what are your traditions? Well, for me, <laughs> I... Get in, try, trying to get into the role itself. Well, when you have to like work this hard and, and, and be on camera th as much as I am in this movie, um, I, I have to be as mentally viable and present as possible so I, I do yoga and and like meditate in the morning. And you look I mean I, I, I'm just gonna say this you looked damn good in underwear Thank in you. your in her in her underwear scenes she looked damn good so you got to see the film stuck and I that's speaking from a, a female role but we can all compliment each other. I, I think so. you're beautiful too. Oh. This is this is I agree with both of those comments. <laughs> you know, there could be a stuck too starring Madeline and Katie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the, more, the more that women like support each other, the more like we'll all benefit. Like, I agree. I, I agree. one time was driving down the street and I told this woman she was sitting on a bus stop, just like looking really sad, and Aww. I yelled out of the window. I'm like, "You're beautiful," because I just felt like it. And she like looked up. She's like, like her whole face Aww, lit up, and lit I was up. just like, and it like lit up my heart inside too. So it's like the more you do that for like all women, we all we all benefit. It like, I agree. it goes around. Yeah, so, because I, we shouldn't. Based on that, Maddie, I just feel like why won't you? You should scream that out to a couple of guys too. We need, we I need do, that. I do. You're gorgeous. You're, you're handsome. I'd I love do. to hear that. Yeah. But next time you see him on the bus stop, just be like, Stu, so I love you. Stu, you're, so you're so pretty. We don't, we don't get sick of that. Okay. Well, um, noted. any, yeah, noted. Note this. Anyways, I seg segueing from from that and. Uh, your film was awesome. I just, I loved the whole concept. Everybody in their life, regardless of wanting to discuss it, has been stuck. So, you know, drink lots of water this evening. Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, and yeah, have fun. Second annual. I hope that, you know, you'll you'll come back next year. This is, this is rocking. I mean, this is, you have to, you have Let's to do it. do it. Stuck too. I'm on it. Too. Sign me up. Sign me up. Stuck too. too. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Go stuff your bellies with some food. Cool. Thanks, you guys. That was great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow night and make up all the post parties and stuff yeah. when we can actually let our hair down. That's right. Yeah. Well, my hair's be less, be, down. be less appropriate. That's yeah. Right. Thanks, you guys. Bye, guys. And uh, Mike, why don't you sit in this chair? I'll grab your glass. Would you like me to fill you up? Oh, do you have wine? Here? I do. I, I I come fully, fully prepared. Oh, this is the first set I've ever done. This gone. is. People keep coming up to my table and thinking I'm pouring. They're like, "What do you have?" And I'm like, "We're doing a live show." Well, I have to tell you, Mike, she has the most beautiful pink dress. Pink. Pink dress. It is. Asked, nice. Thank you. I'm I'm up. plugging I'm plugging Cake Plate, which is dressing me tonight. Usually I shop at Target, and I so I was provided uh, Cake Plate. It's a local boutique in town. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So so we are we did a couple uh, red carpet interviews with you gentlemen this morning, but I'm with. To, to introduce to those people that are streaming live from across the country, yeah. Kurt Miller, the uh, director, producer of The Movement, and Mike May, one of the subjects of this amazing, inspiring film, and Tank that is sleeping down here below. 
and you do a little my legs here. Um, so we are in full swing right now at the festival, and even though we just showed your film this afternoon, but what are you guys thinking? How, do, how are you feeling? Well, you know, putting on a party like this took a lot of effort, yes. so I'm kind of getting tired. I'm looking forward to the day being over. Yeah. We have a few friends over to beautiful Robert Mondavi, and it's going well and, so and far. It's, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's let's do a little cheers here to, to officially, here's your glass mic, officially uh, clink it in. Cheers, 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 cheers yeah. to, the, to the film Sante, festival. Salute. So, Mike, are you, an, are you an enjoyer of vino? Absolutely. Uh, loving this um, Mondavi Cabernet with hints of essence yes, of yes. Uh, blackberry and a little bit of oak and uh, tannins are beautiful. Tan You're beautiful. Wow, tannins are, look at you go. Did you get, did you get a, a, a lesson this afternoon? I'm reading off of the teleprompter. Oh, yeah, exactly. Just displayed it's above here. It, it is. So, so, Dad, come here real quick. Mike May lives in Davis. My father lives in Davis, right? Isn't this wild? Mike lives in Davis, and he's 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 one of the subjects of of the documentary that Kurt. On alone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm right at uh, you know right near A Street, A and Eighth. Oh yeah, yeah. I know that area. How long you've been in Davis? Since '98. '98. And I went to school there in the '70s. So did I. Yeah. When yeah. did you graduate? Well, I was class of 72, but I didn't get out of there till 74. I was class of 75 and got out in 76. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, isn't that weird? Uh, that? He, he mentioned... Uh, Napa to me. Yeah. How about that? Wow. Anyways, getting back to... I just wanted to make an, an introduction there briefly. So, so we'll get back to... The Movement uh, is a very inspiring film. Tell me a little bit, although you described it to me this afternoon, for those that are viewing about the film. Well, it's interesting. The film is based around Rick Finkelstein getting back on the mountain after becoming disabled. And really what Make a Hero, my group, makeahero.org does, is help people get back what they lost through a tragic accident. So if you look at a person becomes disabled or uh, comes back from the military with you know an amputee or something like that, it's really changing their mind. And it's, it's all about giving them back what they lost and the confidence to realize life goes forward. You know, you get up the next day and it's amazing getting physical activity, how much it changes their life and gets them back into the mode of stuff and, and gives them the confidence to continue to live. Right. So. And and what we didn't talk about earlier was my, what I'm, I'm wearing two hats. I'm wearing the film festival hat reporting uh, and then I'm also wearing my Feast at Ford hat, which I, I wrote. But Can I you, feel no hat. Yes. You know, actually, I do have a hat that, that is a film festival hat that I'll put on. It's a display for now, but I'll put it on at the end of the show. But anyways, um, my, my show that I'm filming is called Feast It Forward, and it's paying it forward and going beyond the bottle and lens to introduce people to brand makers about, you know, what touches their hearts, whether it be the wineries or a chef or, I mean, everything across the board. You, yourself, Mike, you know, you having your own foundation. And the very cool about Enchanted Hills Camp that I would like you to talk about is you're one of my 24 charities featured in my case for a cause that did the mission is 12 vintners 12 bottles 12 months 24 charities and we are going to put all of this one this uh, these funds into our feast it fund and uh, offer donations and awesome. grants so yeah. tell me about uh, Enchanted Hills Camp which is actually something near and dear to your heart uh, it's a place I've been going to since 1962 when I was little and it's uh, it affected a lot of people's lives you you get uh, inner city kids that come up here it's the most incredible experience. It gives them a chance to mingle with other blind folks, to le learn skills, to experience horseback riding, swimming, all the kind of camping activities. And people really come from around the country to this unique spot, 311 acres up in the Napa foothills that is really unrivaled in its beauty and also its portraying of independence, which people take back home when they leave the camp uh, after a couple of weeks. And it's on Mount Veter? Mount Vita Road, right, sandwiched between, oh, it's up there past Hess and Mayacamas and lots of other good wineries. There we are. Is there a zip line, I, I understand? The zip line got kiboshed. Oh, no, because yeah. I was going to ask you for a zip line ticket. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's kiboshed. The private, yeah. The private can you, can you, will you give me a private tour? Absolutely. Any time, Katie, you tell me. All right. Well, well, you are on the board of directors currently? I, I'm on the, uh, they call it the advisory board, okay. but... The, the cool thing is that the neighbors were not too thrilled about 
a zip line of people hooting through their trees. But they said, hey, we'll get together. 150 plus neighbors from the Mount Vitor community are getting together to raise money to help the camp, which is really the point of the zip line to begin with. Very cool. Well, it's amazing. I was able to go visit today. It is the most beautiful place you could. How ever come visit. he gets a visit and I haven't gotten a visit? I had to go with ten other people. He oh, you to go okay. on a private tour, so okay. it's like you're good to go. So, well, I'm going to be. What time do you finish up tonight? <clears throat> um, we'll figure that out because I, I would like to go. Um, but this is wonderful. I, I really think for those that have not seen your documentary, is very inspiring. I mean, by reading the the information in the program, I already knew it was going to be touching. But and I'm, I'm kinda, I kind of whimper. You know, I was crying in the corner a little bit. It was, I mean, seriously, it's it was very, no, very touching. No, I feel really lucky to have the people that helped me do it. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a group effort to come out with a great film. And we're excited. This is about our 25th festival this year. Um, 25th? Yeah. Started with Sundance. And I've been on the road pretty much all summer at festivals every single weekend. And, wow. you know, again, and the most important thing we do is we give our film away. We're not here to sell it. Right. We're not doing anything. Ours is about giving it away helping people with disabilities and building awareness for other people sure. to become aware of how to help. So. Well, discuss briefly before we take off um, what you are doing with your next production, because that that is very cool. Well, it's interesting. So, owner of Warren Miller Entertainment, Warren Miller's my father. You know, we're kind of the family of the mountains. Our next film goes with Jean-Michel Cousteau, son of Jacques Cousteau, and we are doing a film all about scuba diving and kayaking and sailing and snorkeling, swimming with humpback whales and wild dolphins, and we've got uh, Bethany Hamilton from Soul Surfer and Anthony Robles and Missy Franklin. So we've got, you know, the it's interesting to follow up, you know, this from the success of this, it just makes my job a little bit easier to get more people involved. We've got Morgan Freeman. Mor Morgan Freeman, is he is he actually? He does a PSA for Make a Hero That's along so cool. with Richard Dreyfuss and Robert Redford. Um, so we've got, you know, again, it's, I think it's called the movement. And once you get into that, you're part of that movement. It's almost like Feast it. It Forward. I mean, not, not to yeah. plug my, but it, honestly, it's a movement. It's getting people to, you know, take action and get, pay it forward. They and know what you're doing, they right. get involved. Right. And they like, I had no idea this is what right. you're doing. It makes total sense. Very cool. And so it's awesome. It's really wow. Cool. Well, this is so wonderful. I know that we'll, we'll have plenty more fun parties throughout the well, festival. This is only the second night. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pop in. I have to do the the little tribute evening, but yes, we will pop in. We will pop in and take a look at uh, the different auction items, and that is tomorrow evening at Red from seven to Redwood. nine. Redwood. Seven to okay. ten, and we got uh, trips to Europe. We've got trips to Mexico, uh, trips to Aspen that will be auctioned off. Trips to Tahoe, ski equipment, and tons of wine, magnums awesome. of wine, private tours of different. Silver Oak, Silverado, you name it, all the wineries have Very come cool. in, so it'll be good. Do you have a designated driver, Mike, for tomorrow night? I always have a designated driver. All right. <laughs> that is that is a wonderful. Comes out with their car. <laughs> we need a Google car for Mike. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I, I am going to be calling you, and I expect to call back to give me a tour. You bet. All Anytime. right. Anytime. All right. Thanks. You. Bye, Tank. Thanks. Sorry, Tank. Sorry, Tank. You couldn't make it up here. I, thank you so much. I, we're going to be around. All right. No, no, no. I'm going to. I'm, I'm just warming up. I'm just warming up. Come on in here. Wait, where's your? Come on in. I did. I double. I. I like to be surrounded by men. I think I've only had two female females. You did, but but um, that's okay. Rick brought enough. Holy smokes, Rick, you need a glass. Well, yeah, I brought, Here. I brought for your camera person and stuff. Man, I am honored. Woo! Scoochie, Scoochie, get, get, get in here. It's not hard. Wow, Katie. I know, I, cl I clean up good. Look at this. I, I, I clean up good. <laughs> Usually I'm wearing yoga pants whenever you see me. I'm wearing yoga or golf or golf. I know. And do you like the haircut, Rick? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Little flip, little flippy. So um, for those of you watching, I am here with actually two of my men, literally in the valley. The besides my husbands, besides my husbands, 
<laughs> this is Rick, the owner of Compadres, and Bob of Bob Hurley's Restaurant. And this is awesome. This is this is the second annual Napa Valley Film Festival. You are you basically brought in all these chefs to how many? Twenty six chefs? Something like twenty three. Okay. Yep. And how did you throw it out there? You said, Rick, I want you to do your carnitas. I want, or did you did you allow them to choose? Oh no, the, everybody chose everybody their own. Chose. We okay. threw the wine at them, okay. saying you have a choice of the Mandavi vintages. Uh, you could do something with Fumé Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot, or Cab. And the first ones that get back to me, you'll get your choice. So towards the end, they had you know it was dictated, but. Actually, I told Bob, just call me at the end and I'll do whatever you need because, you know, we showed up one time to an event and all, and there were only four of us for this event up at the Lincoln Theater and we all did soups. What? So, yeah. Was this was this, was this during yeah. winter time? Yeah. yeah, it was. We all did we all did soup. So I said, you You're don't like, want to like, you don't want to no soup for you. Yeah, but, next time. But actually, I just told the the film festival committee that. I just wanted to do something that was actually on our menu, and so they chose it. They said, well, "Why don't you come so down and do the carnitas? do the carnitas?" Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chow down when I'm when I'm off camera a little bit more. All but six? Y y heck yeah, yeah. You can I I had like a minuscule breakfast this morning. She can pass yeah. the tiny tacos with a, a, any guy. Let me tell you. Tiny, tiny tacos. That that sounds like a. <laughs> never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Um, so we're gonna segue from that. Uh, basically, you two have been very supportive of everything I've done over the years. You bringing me into the kind of female ringer for golf tournaments. But besides that, you guys have donated to all of my events, and you got you're like my Napa father, and your boys are like my brothers. I mean, I just That's I just love. What you want to hear from? Well, no. I mean, oh, come on, come on. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm what you're like? No, I'm it's better I than your, grandfather. I am your Father. Jeez! Or you could say, "Who's your daddy?" <laughs> oh Lord, good Lord! I'm not I, that. That I will segue from as well. But no, I appreciate very much your support, and um, and I can always count on you guys to to support what I'm doing. And I think that that's what this festival is about: is to support everybody, you know. And for all the people that haven't been here before, you know, to go, to go beyond the lens and the bottle and to share our personal stories, because this is our backyard. You know, opening up your restaurant. And every and every chef here has a story. We were talking about 23 chefs. Every chef here has a story. And when I approached chefs, you were asking me about that particular part of it. When you, I was approaching the chefs and I explained to them what the film festival was all about and what it would bring to Napa Valley. Every one of them was in. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a no-brainer, right? You bring another dimension to this valley, who, which is food and wine centric, yeah. and another dimension: film, art. Food, wine, wow, it yeah, all goes together. It, it, it all goes together, and it is. It's it's film, food, wine. You know, we're able to connect with the viewers and, and feature these amazing films, but also share our stories. Well, you know, and, and you know that we've operated restaurants really around the country, and, and this is the the one place where the everybody's so cooperative and works so well together. It's sure. really a great, fun time. to. I, I, we got here two hours in advance so we could spend time, talk to all the guys that are putting things together, because you don't get... Are there any female chefs here? Uh, yes, actually, there okay, are. Okay, because I was about to kick your ass if there was no female. That wouldn't be pretty no. either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking in. I'm just checking in. We got to. We got to have some support here. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna chow down on these with my. You share this with the film crew. Um, yeah, this is great. I mean, this the party's just begun. It's only the second day. I'm completely exhausted. But we start at 8 a.m. in the morning and go till 2 a.m. tomorrow. So we are. We this, are ready. This crowd is unbelievable. It just we are. Uh, stop. And as, as Rick will tell you, you we do these Crazy. events often, and tonight we're seeing just a lot of different people that we never see before. I was saying normally we do these events often, and you see the same people a lot. But here, it's so much different. We're attracting a totally different crowd oh, here. Absolutely. I, I just saw somebody from uh, Hawaii that was a customer of ours when we were operating over serious? there. Yeah, just that was really just, wonderful. Just on a random way? That random thing. They were out here for the weekend for the festival. That was terrific. That is yeah. very cool. That is so cool. Well, thank you. Cheers. Okay. Cheers Katie, to my boys. Katie, Cheers you. to my boys. Thank Cheers you. to the festival. To your, to your success. Thank you. Well, you guys are you both believe me. Anytime. And if you ever need a long ball hitter, oh, uh, ringer, I'm 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 ready. I'm ready. Uh, Bob, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, do you want to come on the show real quick? 
Do you want to? We're doing a live show. Do you want to come on the show real quick? Uh, You're on it right now. Smile for the camera. I'll come back. Okay, come back. Come back. Come back. Come on in. Come on in. No, I'm doing a live show. Hello. I'm doing a live Hello. show. And we're drinking good wine. You know, there's some tacos in front of you here. I know. Well, help yourself. Exciting. The only time my husband will let me say help yourself to a taco is now. So <laughs> if you would, if you would like, <laughs> if you would like good one. Wine. Wow, look at this. This is like a smorgasbord. Hey, sport. you're not gonna. I did steal your guys. I'm gonna be on for for five seconds. You guys talk and I'll. All right. So I I should be drinking a beer right now with these two gentlemen. Hey, get it. Get in here. Do not. Two seconds. Let me steal you for two seconds. I'm here, I'm here. Two seconds. Last oh. night, we were at the world premiere of Psalm. This was the debut of Psalm, the documentary based on four amazing gentlemen that are very unattractive, unfortunately, that passed the master small. Yeah, so, you know, you got to have, you know, attractive people on film, and that's what you guys are. So, we, he's, he is, he is. So, so we, we have uh, the lovely director and producer, Jason Wise, back here. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, Dylan, what do you, he's like the... This man is like the dresser of the. I mean, you guys all look wonderful, but he's the do you do you fly fish? I do. Do you do you really, or is that just a okay? No, but you look lovely. I just didn't know. I wasn't sure. Um, does everybody have a glass? Because it's bad luck to cheers without something proper, proper. To, to Psalm, the documentary, the world premiere in Napa Valley at the festival. I will drink to that. Cheers to all of you. I do have a secret to tell you, gentlemen, that Jason wouldn't, well, I didn't go there because I thought maybe it would be inappropriate, but last night you missed my wine rack. Have you gentlemen heard of that? What? My wine rack? Wine it is rack. actually a bra that you put on underneath your clothing so you can get through your children's recitals or events. And you literally drink from, from the chest. And you missed it because I was going to have you gentlemen guess the vintage and varietal from my breast. But... You missed it. Unfortunately, that will have to be next year's premiere. So first, that yeah, would have it would. First. It would have. So do you put a cloth over like you're breastfeeding? And you can uh, well, we could go there and I could burp you, but this was more for the actual, you know, opportunity for you to taste and so. Uh, we'll be back next year. We'll sounds be, like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back guys, next year. Guys, all, all, all you guys out there. Yeah. This, this sounds like a great Valentine's Day gift. Oh God. Gentlemen. Yeah. It is. It is. It is. If you have children and, and you don't like the recital, you can drink, but. <laughs> Brian's eating the tacos. Look at this guy. <laughs> Does that pair well with your Chardonnay, or what are you drinking? We haven't eaten all day. You know oh, good I mean? God. So okay. Four, four sommeliers on the carpet after not eating is probably not the best idea, but this is awesome. The kickoff. I'm so excited you guys are here. We are honored to have this as the world premiere, so thank you for attending. Jason, what is your next project? Um, I'm hoping to make uh, Cannonball Run 3. We're pretty, we're pretty far along. Gone with the wind too. Gone with the wind too. No, Psalm two, the reckoning is what we're hoping. Psalm two, the reckoning. Okay. Well, thank you again. I know you yeah. gentlemen are enjoying. I your promise, there's a real answer to that. Question. Yeah, but that's okay. We'll we'll let him soak it in and, and let us know later. But any any. No, you're good. Taco, Dylan. Yes. Thank you. See, I got him right there. I'm taking a taco. Do you want? Would you like one of my tacos? I've been staring at this taco since I sat down. Thank you. Ah. We could Cheers. go to a whole different show after this. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank You're you. wonderful. <laughs> Napa Valley Tacos Na are Napa Valley Tacos. Compadres, compadres. Boom. Boom. Love it. Take it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh! What, what, are, what are you here for? We're, we're live streaming, but, but tell me. Tell me what you, what, what's your deal? I'm here because it's my second year. Yeah? And it's a great time. Are you, and it's your, are you Are you a patron? Are you a sponsor? Or are you just coming for the shit of it? Uh, my girlfriend actually runs a theater here in town. So. Oh! Who? Do I know her? I'm a local, so I might know her. You might. Patricia? Patricia. Oscar. I don't. I don't. Lincoln Theater? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't, we don't know, know each other formally, formally but I, I believe that I've seen her. Okay. Are we on TV right We now? are. We're streaming live to Korea, Japan, all throughout Europe. Awesome. So, do you have a glass? Is that your glass? I don't, but I should have a okay, glass of wine okay. we're in Napa Valley, okay. right? We got we'll, we'll what, what are you pouring me here? This, we, is, this, this is, cab or what? This is the momentum. The momentum. Yes, this is the momentum, so there you go. Somebody else, somebody else left this, but we will cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers. Thank you for joining. Right on. Are you kidding? It's great. Right on. This is great. I am. I am. I am about to interview an actress. If you want to, if you want to watch and, and see the display. Do you, do you need help interviewing anyone? I don't think so. I think I got a handle. I know. I, I know. Look, I walked up to your to your girl. Oh no! To hey. your camera girl, and I was like, Yeah, you don't need any help. I don't need. Well, you know, it's you always it's it. always nice to have a co-pilot. But you know, we're we're, we're all right. We're ready. She's going for an interview. All right. Hang around, we're here. Cheers! Nap Valley Film Festival! Oh my God, we're live. I'm gonna stare at the camera and freeze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him introduce himself because I have a, a, a task to handle right now. So down. Gary, Gary and Susie King here, tell, tell me a little bit about your film and the long title. Yes, right. so I'm Gary King. I'm the writer and director of How Do You Write a Joe Sherman Song and this is my lovely wife, Susie King. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> and so the film is about Broadway, aspiring Broadway artists struggling for success and juggling the relationships around them. It's like going to a Broadway show all original songs. We uh, we won film of the festival at Raindance in London. We won the audience award in Phoenix. Yes. We were uh, the audience award. That's yes, good. yes, very lucky and fortunate. We were shortlisted for the Gotham Audience Award. Yes, and now we're here yeah, with you, Katie. Yeah, we're here. So cheers, 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 cheers. We always have to do the celebratory cheers. So I am curious. Um, how you actually, one, were you on Broadway or was this uh, brought to you? I wish it, I wish it was on Broadway. It, it is original movie, but we would love to adapt it for stage someday. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So what is your, you just support and... I, yes, I, I helped produce the film, but I... You did, I didn't, okay. <laughs> I actually, um, I, it's nice to be able to work with my, alongside my husband for all the films that we've worked on together. You didn't rip each other's heads off? No, no. 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 No, we're fine. No, <laughs> only a little bit. Only a little, only a little bit. Because I, you know, I, last year actually um, at the festival we had um, Sam Jager and Amber Jager, and they had their film feature, and she was like, they both actually were actors in it, and they just like, oh, I, I wanted to kill him a couple times. It's like, That's you know, I probably would kill my husband if we worked together too closely. So that. I commend you guys for being able to, to well, handle it together. She's not on the set the whole time. That's the thing. She's not on the set the whole time, <laughs> but she's definitely in the editing room, like helping when we get the edit, you know. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So um, this was your first time to the festival because you were in North Carolina last year. Oh, yeah. So the first time to the, yeah, to this film festival. It's a wonderful festival. Say that. Wait, wait. We didn't get that. Say that again. <laughs> wonderful festival. Love one, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Brenda and Mark, this is the next Sundance. It is. Napa Valley Film Festival. This is, I mean, how can you not? The people are passing by. This is rocking. Everybody's loving it. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're doing our, our, our push-ups, <laughs> you know. And we actually, we just ran into Brent, uh, Brenda and Mark. Did. Well, good. And they are amazing people. I they mean, are amazing. Yeah. I mean, what they have... This is such a daunting task. I'm like, I feel exhausted for just the second day of filming, but it's this is awesome. I mean, what more can you ask for? Food, wine, film. This is so cool. Are you covering the festival. The whole time? <laughs> yeah, the entire the entire time. Okay. Well, I'll I'll give you while we wait for the next person to come on. Um, I'm wearing two hats. I'm filming for the festival, just yep. doing general coverage, and right. then I'm filming my show, Feast It Forward, uh, which is the the whole concept is to pay it forward and kind of go beyond the bottle and lens to introduce all the people involved in the food and wine industry Lovely. that give back to Lovely. their charitable causes because like this there are so many events in the country uh, where chefs and winemakers participate yeah. and they donate product but nobody ever sees why or if they're sitting on a board or who they're giving back to and I'm sure there are charities near and dear to your hearts but it's kind of 
it's deconstructing the, the business in a, a different, less glamorous, because people think you're in Napa Valley and you live, oh, you live on this glamorous estate in the hills. And I'm like, no, honey. I'm like, it is, it is a very blue collar town. And this is, you know, we all, we all work together and support each other and want to give back. So anyways, that's my little plug for Feast Step Forward. So I don't know if you guys are involved in, in certain charities or have any stories that. Well, she loves animals. I do. I very much love the ASPCA. I'm a big, yes, I'm a big animal lover. We just had on one of the subjects of a documentary uh, with his guide dog. And he is just, he ate a filet mignon before he came, before he came. Um, so he's, he was stuffed and full and happy. So. Great. That's great. Well, well thank you yes. for coming on. Thank you. Can I I'll plug the screen? Yes, do it. No, please. Plug, plug. So Heidi Wright, a Joe Sherman song is Saturday night in Calisoga at Copperfields. Yep. And then Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. at Jarvis in Napa. 8.30 on Saturday, 8.30 on Sunday. Yeah, perfect. Cheers. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Katie you. rocks. Katie Woo! Rocks. Do you guys need a, fill, a filler upper before you? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. You may as well. I keep getting people. I keep, I keep getting people coming up here and going, what are you pouring? And I'm like, I'm not pouring anything, honey. I'm like... I'm doing a Thank show. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Rafiki, I wanted to get Rafiki and... <clears throat> yeah! Open and Rafiki! Get over here! And, and Jacques, get over here. Awesome! Napa Valley. Yeah, can I... Can, yes, please. Yeah, Rafiki, Obed, Jacques. I'm gonna scoot. Julia. You guys can scoot. We're gonna get in here. Get in here, Rafiki. And they're even wearing the gear. They're even wearing the gear. Rafiki, Obed, Jacques, this is awesome. I love, this is Napa Valley attire. Welcome. Do you guys have wine? Yes. Yes? Can I cheers? Cheers. Cheers. Jacques, where's your wine? Uh, I got it. A, it's bad luck to, uh, to film. Or, there you go. The official. Cheers, cheers to the second annual Napa Valley Film Festival. Where Rising from Ashes was featured, and your film is amazing. You guys are inspiring. Uh, I, I have a, what do you call it? A, um, it's kind of like a tricycle bike. Do you know what a tricycle is? Yes. That's the only thing I could ride, and you guys are incredible. I mean, you guys were so speedy fast. Yes. Uh, are you enjoying your time here in America? Yeah, uh, we enjoy the time. Very nice, very good. America is an amazing country, you know. Life is good. This is a party, right? This yeah. is a party. I mean, this is an awesome opportunity to see food, wine, film, and you guys are awesome. And I, I want, can I get one of these? Yes, you can. I can? Yes. Uh, TeamRwandaCycling.org. Okay. Actually, before I let you guys go, if you could talk a little bit about the education outreach and what um, the opportunity for these gentlemen and raising awareness and funds. Is that something you can touch up on? Sure. As far as what we're doing in the schools, yeah, the, the boys are going to three or four schools every day. They're talking about conflict and, and reconciliation, and it's been pretty amazing. It's been a really, really amazing. Hey, I am so glad you guys could pop in. Thank you so much. Rising from Ashes, the documentary, here at the Napa Valley Film Festival. It's, it's an inspiring show. Please watch it. Please watch it. Thank you, thank you. And I do, I want one of these, I'm gonna have to go online. Okay. Uh, this is getting all filthy. We're, hi, I'm Katie. Hi Katie. Pleasure, nice to meet you. You're cold. Warm heart. Oh, warm heart, I like that. Do you need some wine to, to sit down with the, the sure. TV? Okay. There. So what are you going to talk about? Um, I want you to talk about uh, the film. I mean, okay. the America's Cup. It's the history of the America's Cup. Okay. All right. And uh, well, I didn't get your full. I didn't get your full name. P.J. Panzica. P.J. Panzica. 
PJ Panzico. Yeah. This is, uh, talk about the film, because I actually did see it in the program, but I wasn't able to do as much research as I would like. So sure. tell, we actually are, are streaming live across the, the nation, so people watching can learn about what you're doing. Well, fantastic. Well, I'm TJ Panzico, I'm the producer of the History of the America's Cup, and Walter Cronkite's a host and narrator. We have our uh, Emmy-winning scores by um, Russ uh, Lander, Lando, and he... Um, He's actually here at the festival as well. Yeah. And, um, hi guys. <laughs> it's just it's the directing. It's the facing directing. Yeah. Oh, here we have a big photo up. Oh, we have a big photo up. So, um, it's a history of the America's Cup. Walter Cronkite's the host and narrator. And we'll be screening at the Opera House um, tomorrow at 1 p.m. We love it. Uh, if anyone it's an awesome like venue to be, to be featured. It's amazing. 400 seats. It's, a, it's one of the jewels of Napa. Um, it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous venue. And we'll have an all-star cast of panelists oh, afterwards great. with Paul Kayard, who um, is San Francisco's sweetheart of the America's Cup. And, and we're really looking forward to being here in Napa, enjoying all the wine, all the festivities. Wine, it's, it, that's what this festival is about, is yeah. food, wine, film. You know, it's yeah. entertainment, but it's also fun. And yeah. so if, if people cannot come to the festival to see your film, where would they be able to see it? Well, there's other venues, and as we get into the America's Cup, we'll talk about that. Um, and um, we've been in multiple languages already. Oh, wow, okay. Across the nation, so we're very proud of that. Um, happy to have the premiere and the updated version here in Napa. Oh, and so, yeah, so really looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. well, thank, thank you, you so much. No, this is a pleasure. The, the, the coolest thing about sitting here in this area and is just having people pass and go, oh, wait, let's bring them in. I mean, this is, it's a cool opportunity to meet because there's so many different key players here. Oh, so cheers. Amazing. Thank you so much. Cheers. And um, just a little plug for the festival. Would you come back? Oh, absolutely. See? Yes. Cheers. Oh, he just said, baby, I look lonely. Who? Hi. Todd Harris, panel. Oh, panelist. Ding, ding, ding. We are with Todd Harris, the panelist. And there are a couple panelists that I've interviewed, so I would like your perspective what, on. What's your name? Uh, Katie. Katie, I'm Todd. Pleasure Todd to meet you. Uh, and uh, yes, we're here at the second annual Napa Valley Film Festival. Oh, so second, so annual, it's fantastic. Uh, and uh, you know, we can only rise up from here, and this is so kick-ass to be in the so second year. You know, just the food, the wine, the, the premieres, uh, it's just awesome. This, you, this, this party's off the hook, right? It is off the hook for anybody. I mean, basically, we're streaming from across the country. There's a couple people in Japan and Korea watching right now. Yes. Rock on. Say, there's like an acre or two, there's two acres of party here. That's there what is, there is two acres of party. There's reserve wines, there's pork belly, there's carnitas tacos, anything and everything. So what is your background? And, and I'm, a, I'm a film producer. I live in Los Angeles. Okay. I'm on the board of the Napa Valley Film Festival. Oh, awesome. So I'm very excited. I'm very good friends with Mark and Brenda who founded it. I went to college and business school with them and they have an amazing knack for pulling off absolutely festive uh, events I mean like this like last like last night were you there were you there last night yes. Oh, yes last night after this amazing film Psalm this documentary sort of the paper chase for sommeliers right so an amazing movie I caught me completely off guard tonight we have an Oscar contender in silver linings and then we have parties that are off the hook that's, it's what the festival's the about. Off the hook party. Speaking of off the hook parties, no, stay here. Stay, stay here. here. Stay here. Come on, come on over. Get, oh, get, yeah. get cozy. No, Lydia, come here. I'm scoot. I'm scooting. I'm scooting. I'm scooting. We're gonna, we're gonna. Well, I fit. Well, I have a. Well, I have a dress check. We are gonna end the show with a few of my dear friends, along with the best gentlemen of the panelist selection here and we have Lydia and Rob Mandavi and this Hello. this is a perfect way to end the show because we are at your your grandfather's winery I mean this is so special this is a kick-ass party how do you feel 
I, I'm absolutely blown away. Once again, we're here at Robert Mondavi Winery, you know, my alma mater. Uh, I'm four generations, so to come back to the family estate that we sold a few years back and to see you know, still the great homage that's paid to the arts here and the wonderful wines that Jean Viev is making, it warms my heart. Yeah. It's awesome. Pretty amazing. It is amazing. I mean, seriously, the, somebody came over that said, I don't like wine, and then they had their like, this never lets me down. Let me I was like, glass. yeah, let me have another glass of that Manavi. Somebody said they don't like wine in Napa Valley? Yes. Well, they they're, they're, they're like, they drink famous. liquor. No, they just, this is our first time, and they drink liquor. They're obviously So involved. this was their... Yeah, obviously Yeah. yeah. So, um... First of all, I want to discuss a little bit before we go off air about not only uh, the Michael Mondavi family estate, but also Cosmetics 29. Tell, tell me a little bit about Thank you. That. Yeah, so with 29 Cosmetics, we use all the byproducts from the winemaking, and it's all sustainable and eco-friendly and antioxidant power, and we're sold at Neiman Marcus in San Francisco. Rock on. I'm enjoying her bouquet as I sit next to her. I know. <laughs> See? Perfect. Well, if we could all cheers, did you, did you, was this your glass? Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. That's yours. Okay, there you go. Here, no, 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 you can't, you can't. That's bad, that's bad luck to go off air without. So we will cheers and cheers, end in cheers. celebratory matter to the second annual Napa Valley Film Festival. If you cannot make it this year, please come to the third annual because this is the next Sundance. Cheers. 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 This really is spectacular.